Now, when I was a little kid, my mother gave me what she called a bird bath in the kitchen sink. Now, I know you're trying to picture that, so don't. But have no fear, that's not what this video is about. Keep watching. So I picked up this bird bath at an estate sale for five bucks. Estate sales are great places to get stuff that you could either repurpose or reuse, rebuild at a really reasonable price. So we're gonna restore this thing and it's gonna look better than it did when it was brand new. So there's basically four steps to most metal restoration projects. First, you strip off the old paint. Second, we're gonna treat the rust. Third, we're gonna prime it. And lastly, we're gonna repaint it. Another very important step in the process is to disassemble as much as possible. In this case, where these two pieces are joined together, I can see there's a lot of rust in there. So we're going to disassemble this and then clean up those surfaces as well. Now it would be a whole lot easier to clean this off if I had a sandblaster, but I don't have a functioning sandblaster at the moment. So with a lot of sanding, chiseling, scraping, brushing with a stiff wire brush, we've got this all pretty well cleaned up. There's still quite a bit of surface rust, like in between all these little grooves. Also on the top here, you can see all of that. So what I'm going to do to treat that is to use this OSFO. This stuff is great. It stops rust and prepares rusted surfaces for painting. It's amazing stuff. It's called OSFO. You can get it on Amazon, probably at some uh, auto parts stores as well. So once we have all that treated, then we're going to clean it up with some paint thinner and then it'll be ready to prime.
So I've got the bird feeder completely primed. One thing that's very important when you're doing your priming is in between the joints here. Before I assemble it, I prime all the surfaces because the most likely place for it to rust first is going to be between the joints. So you want to be sure to prime that before you put it together. Now I'm going to lightly sand it with 300 grit sandpaper just to get a nice smooth surface. Now all we need are some birds and some water. Thanks for watching Alley Picked. I hope you enjoyed the bird bath restoration. Until next time, I'll meet you in the alley. <laughs>